Hey guys, it's Victor Mercado, aka Vic Burke from Team Relinquish. Um, today I'm coming to you on Team FTK's channel. They asked me to um, give you my deck profile from my turn from my regional winning battle deck. So I went 7-0 and 1. Uh, my match was for as follows. Round one was Salomon Great. I drew with the guy. Uh, I won game one. Game two, neither one of us could kill each other. Just We just didn't have any monsters after we dealt enough damage. I just couldn't draw monsters to just kill them. Um, round two was against Danger Thunder Dragon. Um, I ended up winning game three thanks to Vanity Sphere. Game Round three was Disaster Dragon. Guard Dragon. It's kind of a new spin on an old deck. It was it's pretty cool. I actually kind of wanted to get his list, but I just didn't really see him again later. Round four was against Sky Striker. Um, yeah, I won game three in time thanks to Cowboy. Round five was also against Sky Striker. I also won game three in time thanks to Cowboy. It's just not fair sometimes. Round six was Pure Thunder Dragon. Uh, he had some very bad luck against me. He discarded his hand twice off of Lord of Darkness, and that that was bad. Then game two, neither one of us could play for a while until I could actually do something. Then he left me at 200, and I killed him with Conductor. Round seven was against Pendulums. Um, he made a field, but paid 4,000 with the Shrudo. And I just cleared, I just beat him with Conductor pretty much. Um, game two, Vanity Fiend for the win again. Uh, round eight was against my friend Geo. He um, he got, well, we got a deck check. And he got a game loss for something that was wrong with his uh, deck list. And then I ended up winning game two after around 30 minutes of us grinding it out. It took forever, but I came out victorious. I went 7-0-1, like I said earlier. Um, let's just get on with the deck profile. Okay, starting off, three Ogre Raptor. This is the start of the deck. It's pretty much the best normal summon that the deck has. Uh, next, newly unlimited card, Miscellaneousaurus. This card is wonderful at three. I love it. Um... Next for the babies, I play two baby Ceratosaurus and one petite, Pete, petite Pterodon, whatever the hell it's called. Couldn't say it earlier, can't say it now. Um, I play the 2-2 ratio because they brick, and this is good because I can summon Pringle Tops and like the Kaiju and stuff from deck. And of course, any level 4. This summons another copy of itself, any other level 4, summon one of these. They're just good up for that. Um, boss monsters, two conductor and two overtex. This card, everyone knows what this does. This card hits field, you're pretty much winning the game. This card, um, I've summoned it with his own summoning condition a couple times today. It was actually pretty good in regards for that. Um, and also against Sky Strikers, just being able to negate, negate spells and traps. Um, Two kaijus, well, two searchable kaijus with Dogran being the main deck. Just out problematic cards. I'm always going second, so it works. And then one of um, Giant Rex and Drek Alio. This card barely ever went to synchro plays. I think I only made Chumbar once today. This card mainly was just used for link plays and then making a conductor later on. This card, everyone know it's for recursion and just keep banish come back, banish come back. Uh, next little side engine was the four down arrestors I played. Pretty much, you also play the field spell. This card, when it's special summon, it adds this card. Of course, everyone knows what Prankatops does by now, but most people side it at three. But um, it's just busted. And also, this card, if this card's in your graveyard and your opponent controls more monsters, and one of these are in your grave, during the end phase, you can special summon this card back. That's what makes it broke. Um, 
to round up the monsters, I play six hand traps, three ash three Valor. These were just the best hand traps I could play at the time. I thought about playing ogres and taking out one out of each, but I wanted this for the Mystic Mind deck. I just never played it, but these these were perfectly fine today. To be honest, I didn't really draw them all that much, and when I did, it was normally Valor as my six card. <laughs> uh, that's it for the monsters. Now for spells, I play five Lost Worlds pretty much. This card helps you get the combos off. This card helps protect your monsters from being targeted. It's just busted. Um, three Fossil Dig, which is pretty much three more Ovi Raptor or three more Miscellaneous Source. Um, two Pill to search with the Overtex, or even just a hard draw and summon out Overtex. It's a broken card. Um, next little engine, two fearless, two foolish burial goods, and a uh, world down wrestling. Uh, use this to send this to grave. If your opponent controls more monsters, banishes cards, summon uh, down wrestler from deck. So you summon level four, adding Prankatops, giving them a token. If you already have lost world in the field, and going off from there, and then uh, foolish burial just being the card that can help you with column pieces. Sending stuff to grave, whatever you need. Uh, I play 42 cards in the main deck. Uh, let's go into the extra deck. Uh, of course, the field center and two tokens. Okay, for links, I play under clock taker. It's just to make um, like my opponent's monsters zero with conductor, pretty much. Pentastag because um, conductor in this equals game against the tokens because it just pierces. After putting everything face down, I don't have to activate this effect, just pierce everything. Uh, Nightmare Cerberus, um, just to pop some special monsters. Hita, this card is good in theory. I use it maybe about twice a day. It actually got it baited in permanence, which let me end up playing later on. Play nine fires in the main deck, so it works. Uh, Phoenix, get rid of back row. Deco Talker. And testing came up a lot. Today, I don't think I made it at all, but I'd still play it. Uh, Trisbania, this card is great against Sky Strikers and any trap decks. This is how I won two of my matchups. Well, two games, pretty much, was with this. And then Boreload. It's Boreload. You're either playing Boreload or Boral Sword, pretty much. Um, that's it for the links. For the rank fours, I play Cowboy for game. I did that twice today against two Sky Striker players. I went first, game three, with only a couple minutes left, and just did my combo, ended on this, and won. Dweller, um, it can be used for the Mirror Match, Thunder Dragons, Dangers, Orcus, Salomon Great. I only summoned it once today. Um, Evil Swarm, Exoton Knight. In testing, it comes up, but I just never saw it. I never used it today. Um, Number 41, Baguska. In testing, it came up. I just never really saw the need to use it today. Evil Sword Doka, this card's busted. Evil Sword Lagia, this card's also busted. Ending on one of these is normally what you do first turn if you're going first. Uh, that's it for the Xyz, and then the one Synchro Trembar. I don't want a Trish, don't want a Dang Long, not Dang Long, um, the Cherry Beast, but this card. It comes in handy sometimes for OTKs. Uh, for the side deck, I played two Lancia for Thunder Dragon and Orcus. And for the mirror match, I didn't play the mirror match, I didn't play Orcus, so it came in against Thunder Dragon, just didn't draw it. Um, one of the best cards in my side deck. Summon this against most decks, they're not playing. If they don't have an immediate out to it, you're pretty much winning from there. Especially when you can give them the token and make it's so you can't, they can't target it either. Um, three call by the grave for going first most of the time. Uh, it just stops hand traps and also other decks like, it stops Hawk, which is good. Uh, three twin twisters for trap decks for Mystic Mind, even though I didn't play them, and Sky Strikers. Uh, two red reboot for trap decks and Mystic Mind. Dot decks and three crackdown the new snatch steel trap card. I like this card a lot I actually use this to um, steal a snake then summon vanity's fiend 
and just went from there. It was pretty good, actually. All right, so that's pretty much it. I took first place today. Um, like to shout out Team FTK for having me on their channel. Like to shout out my friend uh, Maurice Newson, aka Roots. He um, he told me to actually play Solomon Great today, but I was like, uh, I like this deck more. This deck is better. Because in testing, I was just O to King Salad all day. Um, I shout out to everybody else who helped me test. Jake Chainwoods for um, giving me some of the cards for free. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Have a nice day.